Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome to a new vlog. Today is Monday and I'm so happy to be back home even if it's for like literally three days. I was back at my actual like hometown in Georgia, Roswell, Georgia for like five days, like the whole last week. And then on Thursday, we're heading to Cancun for Ryan's birthday. I am so freaking excited. I've been wanting to go to an all-inclusive for so long, probably before COVID. So I'm finally getting to satisfy that craving and it's just gonna be like very nice, relaxing, hoping the weather's good because it does say it's gonna rain, but I'm not sure if it's like, obviously it's, it is a tropical place. So I'm thinking it might rain like for 10 minutes here like a big shower and then be done and blue skies i'm just really hoping that's the case so i'm not really sure but really really praying for some good weather and yeah so this vlog is going to be just like a few days in my life because i want to do like a whole cancun vlog um update on the shelves i have not purchased a single thing for them so they're still bare but hey they're still cute um this morning i am going to get matcha with my friend shireen we were gonna go to that magic matcha place near congress but their hours are really funky and i'm pretty sure they changed their hours like they used to be open on mondays but they're not anymore so we're just gonna go to flitch because it's like right down the road and she has to get back to work but we wanted to have a little catch-up session and then this week slash these three days i have like all my doctor's appointments scheduled because i had to like schedule them a month out these people are like really booked up so I put them all like back to back to back. So today is the dermatologist, which I've not been to a dermatologist in forever. And like I have suffered with so many skin issues when I was a kid. Um, I'm really, really dry skinned. So I have like a lot of eczema and I had a big flare up when I went to Italy and it was not fun and it's still kind of lingering. So I want to get that checked out. I want to get some more dandruff shampoo prescribed because the prescription one is like game changer and I'm really running low and it's a hundred percent probably expired. So <laughs> I'm still using it and let's see what else. I can't really think of anything else, but tomorrow I'm going to the OBGYN. Ugh, I hope I don't have to get a pap smear. <laughs> but I actually got off the pill like three months ago-ish because I was just like curious to see what I would be like off the pill. And now I'm thinking about getting an IUD. I don't know, I'm really scared. They say it hurts like hell getting it put in, so I'm really, really nervous for that. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I know this might be TMI, but I don't really care anymore. Some people like actually appreciate when people talk about this, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. And then the last one is the dentist. I'm nervous about the dentist because I've been having like some weird teeth sore feeling. Like every time I bite into something salty and like a piece of salt gets on my tooth, it's so sensitive. And I'm really hoping I don't have cavities, but if I do, like I guess I'll just get them fixed. But anyways... So that is the current plan for the week. Also just prepping for the trip, packing. Ugh, I can't wait to like be back home. And this sounds so mean and so bad because I don't want to like wish away my life because I've also been really looking forward to this trip. But I feel like I've also been traveling a lot and I just like want to be at home because today was so good. Like it's only almost 9 a.m. and I feel so good. I went to the gym and I did 12 3 30 all the way through and most of the time I actually did not hold the rails which I was shook at because I haven't done it in so long and even when I did it for like every day for like two months I was holding onto the rails so I was like go me. I came back home showered. Also I made overnight oats. I'm thinking I should bring them to the coffee place because I don't really want to um get like a pastry or anything even though that sounds good and I feel like every time I have matcha on an empty stomach I go bonkers like I'm just like a little twitchy so I don't want that to happen um look how fucking cute this is I'm dead I'm dead over this freaking container and I have to show you guys all the other ones I'll try to do um that today so I can like unbox them I was waiting to unbox them on the vlog but they are this company porter i literally just unboxed this one last night just to do these overnight oats and then i have these frozen mangoes that i put in a warm bag i think they're wait that works yay my mom was like you can just put frozen fruit in there because i don't have anything since we just came from home and i'm going away again i'm just like i don't really want to buy groceries but i should probably go to heb and get something because i want bananas and just like a few things but anyway i'm gonna go to the coffee shop 
bring my overnight oats, be a good girl, and then straight from there, I'll probably go to the dermatologist. Just got to Flitch, literally two minutes from our house. <laughs> Old apartment, but here with Shireen. Hello. Gonna get some matcha, as always. Oh, no, I'm gonna get chai. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got the chai Switch last time, and I... Wasn't a fan? Well, you know, I like the sweet stuff. Yeah, I don't like it too sweet. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, I got matcha. They do like the simple, or no, the syrup, like maple yeah, syrup, maple right, syrup. to sweeten yeah. it. Which yeah. makes a difference because it's yes. like a little nutty. Yeah, or, it, I yeah. like it. I like it. Matcha here is 10 out of 10. I just drove to Westlake Dermatology. I unfortunately couldn't go to the place I got my boobs done. I really wanted to go there because I feel like I'm familiar with it. Um, and it's downtown. It's like literally right down the street from me. But they were not taking new clients, so I had to come all the way down to the Southwest Parkway. I don't even know where that is, honestly. But it was like 20 minutes from where we were. Not horrible, but you guys know I hate driving. <laughs> but the plus is that they actually have parking. And in downtown, you have to like pay or like, you know, find free parking. So that is a plus. Um, but I had such a good morning with Shireen. And I feel like being around people like that honestly just makes me like thrive because like we're bouncing off ideas. She has a very creative mind like me. And I just love like talking about like our passions and like this sounds so cheesy and like cliche, but like having people like that that are like so excited about something makes you excited for them and like makes you want to do something for yourself and just like push yourself even more and so I'm just very thankful to like have friends like that so very very good morning best way to start off the day and um yeah so I'm gonna go into the dermatologist hopefully get everything figured out I'm gonna tell her the ointment I like using um, and hopefully they have it because the last time it was like Protopic. I don't know if you guys have eczema or if you've ever heard of it, but I loved Protopic because it like heals you so fast. But the last time I went to the dermatologist, they did not have Protopic or like it was really expensive all of a sudden or whatever. They gave me an off brand. It was fine, but I just really like Protopic. So I'm hoping that things have changed because it's been so long literally in and out within like 15 minutes I always get so nervous when you go to like check out because I never know how much I'm supposed to pay if like I'm supposed to pay anything I'm on my mom's insurance like I don't know like what insurance covers and then also like this one time I went to the CVS minute clinic which could be different than like a regular doctor I don't even know how that all works but I it was like for an earache or something I was wanting to get like earwax pulled out and she gave me this form to like sign off and I was like wait like how much is it because you know I just assume that insurance covers a lot I guess it doesn't and she was like oh it's gonna be like a hundred something dollars and I was like um yeah no it's okay I'll just not do that <laughs> because I didn't know like if there was a cheaper option she didn't really give alternatives and it was just weird that she kind of like assumed that I was gonna pay that and like not tell me up front and it was weird that I had to ask so now whenever I go into the doctor I'm just like okay well like how much is that or like do I pay that like and I feel so stupid asking those questions like I said they just assume that you're just gonna pay for anything and I don't even know how much these prescriptions cost or if my insurance covers it I have no freaking idea I'm literally gonna call my mom right now and be like uh like how much is this gonna run me not that I like can say no because I need this shit like I need this ointment but I'm just also just really confused because I feel like no one teaches you about insurance and taxes and like the things you really need to know in school so this is what happens a really confused 25 year old about to be 26 in a couple months and well I don't know why I said a couple it's like six months out but still now I'm gonna go home I want to call Anna who is my assistant we're gonna talk some strategy and what else what else i have a shoot with one of my blogger clients at 2 p.m today and then i'm gonna go get a lash lift right after i just finished my shoot and now i'm at the lash appointment that i had because i wanted to get my lashes lifted before i go to cancun but i scheduled this for 4 30 because originally the shoot was at three so this was going to be perfect timing because it was like literally 15 minutes away from this blogger's house and she lives kind of far from me like in Westlake hills area um but anyway, so she uh, changed it to two, which is no problem. I can just like wait in the car. I always have work to do on my phone. So we're rolling with the punches. And I brought a cooler with my little snacky. If you guys have watched the vlogs for a while, you know that I eat these like 
a lot. <laughs> these are just spring rolls from HEB and I really need to learn how to make these because I would just like prep them and it's like, let's see, $5.99 and then I have some coconut water. This thing is large and in charge but I didn't want to like pour it in another um, little cup or anything. But I've been loving using coconut water in smoothies. It's so good. And then also matcha. I just got a DM from a girl saying <laughs> she watched my um, last vlog and my matcha that I'm using is not, what's, what'd she say? I think she said like ceremonial grade. I'm using like culinary grade. So I need to get a new matcha. I'm going to look at it like literally after I eat. Um, but... Yeah, this looks so good. I was like literally thinking about it the whole drive here, which was not very long, but I was just ugh, so hungry. So also I really liked that overnight oats thing that I did this morning and the mango, like I think I told you guys, but it was frozen mango. I thought it literally put it in a bowl of water for like, I think I did it before the gym. So maybe like it was in there for like an hour. No, not even probably like 45 minutes. But anyways, it was like fresh mango, like so sweet, so good, so ripe. I was like, what the heck? I'm going to so do this more often, especially with mango. I'm not sure how the other fruits would be. I feel like strawberries, like I've just decided that I don't think I like strawberries as much as I like the idea of strawberries. Every time I have a strawberry, even if it's sweet, I'm just like, okay, that was a good strawberry, but I'm never going to really crave a strawberry unless it's like with something sweet, like Cool Whip or like um chocolate obviously chocolate covered strawberries other than that strawberries on its own hot take not that good this morning when i was talking to anna i was telling her all my goals and i really want to push myself to post like 10 instagram stories a day and i feel like that might sound stupid having a goal like that but especially because this is kind of like i guess part of my job is to like be on social media I sometimes get in phases where I love to talk on stories and show my face and show what I'm doing. Then I get into a weird funk where I won't post anything for like so long and then so hard to get back into it because I'm over here thinking like no one gives a shit about my matcha, no one cares what I have to say about my eyebrows, no one, nobody cares about my lash appointment or my eczema issues. But every time I do start to post, I have so many people that I get to talk to through my DMs because they actually like relate to stuff I say and it's just so cool and I really need to remind myself of this feeling because I really, really like connecting with people online. Um, but it's just weird when I like stop all of a sudden. I don't know why I do that. I just get into weird funks and I don't want that to happen anymore. So I'm literally going to try to post at least 10 stories a day. We'll see if I can you know, keep that up. But if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and also on TikTok because I also need to post more on TikTok and not just like trending sounds. Like I actually want to talk on TikTok because I feel like I can really like show my personality more there because I don't really care who sees it on TikTok, even though I feel like TikTok is really starting to show me all my contacts or like random people in my contacts that I forgot about maybe in high school <laughs> um so I'm scared that like my TikToks will be in front of people that I like literally don't like haven't talked to in so long you know back home it is currently 6 20 and here are the lifted lashes can you tell yeah you can definitely tell they're like super curled they're literally like touching my eyelids which I feel like is gonna be annoying especially when i put mascara on because like the last time i go to pink wave lash by the way and like they can do different kind of curves so the last time was perfect and this time we wanted to try something a little bit more dramatically but apparently my lashes took really well like surprisingly well so now the edges are a little too curled she said that we could straighten them if it like really bothers me but like i don't really want to go all the way back there and like that appointment i i don't remember my eyes burning during the appointment, I mean, yeah, I do remember them being really itchy. I don't know. Like, during the appointment, it's it's tough. Like, especially the last, like, 15 minutes. Um, but we made it out alive. One of my life quotes is, beauty is pain. I've always said that. I started getting, like, waxed when I was probably, I don't know, second grade, third grade. Started doing my eyebrows super young, which kind of regret, but... I don't know. I was just a hairy girl and I would do anything not to be a hairy girl. And now, well, 
I think I got it in high school or something, but I got laser hair removal and now I shave my arms because um, I guess that's just like what you do when you get laser hair removal. I want to get it again for sure. Hopefully maybe in the winter time I was thinking about it um, because you're not supposed to be like in the sun for like long periods if you're going through laser. So gonna wait till the winter, but I wanted to do my haul of the little food storage containers. I started to open a couple. So I'm gonna open them all and show you guys exactly what I got. Also, I really like the hairstyle I was doing this morning. A little bump it action. I only did it because I didn't wanna brush out my bangs and like I was wondering if it could like hold the volume if I didn't brush them out and I just put them like that. <laughs> Giving me Jersey Shore vibes. I feel like everyone called me Snooky in high school and I'm like, I don't, I don't even look like Snooky, but like, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll start the haul with these ceramic bowls. So pretty much all of what I'm about to show you is food storage or like meal prep containers. This is kind of just like a leftovers bowl. I think this is ceramic, but this part outside, it's like rubbery, which it feels really cool. And I love this cream color. I would die for this color. And the brand is Porter, I guess. It's like W and P. W and P or Porter. I don't really understand, um, but it like latches on so you can like secure your leftovers. So that's nice. So I got three of those because I feel like whenever I do make food for me and Ryan, I always try to make a little extra for me for like the day after because Ryan doesn't usually eat leftovers. So more for me, um, but I like to have it like pre-portioned, you know? So these are actually kind of the reason why I got all of this because look how stunning these containers are. I'm gonna be totally honest. Like I am sold if a product has a good aesthetic and good packaging, like I feel like a lot of people are, but I am like so easily sold when I see something super cute like this. It could just be so minimal, but I love the look of it. Um, so this one is a 24 ounce and this one is a 16 ounce. Um, I realized that today's overnight oats was only in the 16 ounce. My mom told me to put two cups of milk, which ended up being a lot of milk. So I think I'm gonna do a little less than that next time, but then this would be perfect because it was kind of overflowing a little bit this morning, especially when I put all the ingredients in. So I got four of these 24 ounce ones and then four of these 16 ounce ones. And I'm just really wanting to just organize my life, especially when I get back from vacation. I'm already looking forward to getting my fucking shit together. And then they have these really cool reusable like bags. So not sure exactly what I'm gonna put in these. Maybe like herbs if I have any. I like these especially because they're the stand-up bags. So you can actually stand them up in your fridge. Um, or you can like put a little sandwich in, put in your lunch box. Um, are they all different sizes now? I think these three are the same size. And this one's a little bit smaller stand-up bag. And then we have all of the little Ziploc bags. Oh, I forgot, little sauce containers. I wish these came in the cream too, but I don't even know where I'll be going for me to actually like bring a sauce container, but I just thought it was so cute. My main issue when it comes to just eating, I guess, is my portions. I definitely could cut down on my portions, especially because when I started living with Ryan, I started cooking on my own. And so I would see what he would eat and think it was like what I should eat. He would go get seconds and then I would want seconds, but I'm definitely not his size and I don't need that much food. I just like want it, you know what I mean? Like my eyes are bigger than my stomach kind of thing. So I'm really hoping that this whole thing will kind of help me to like pre-portion. Also just like to help me actually eat my fruits and vegetables because I really want to like cut up my fruits and like put them in these little things before they go bad. Most importantly, I was actually really proud of myself because before I went back home, I stuck all my like veggies, I cut them up, put them in the freezer. I also made mint ice cubes that I totally forgot about until now. So I need to like make something with that. Um, but yeah, so that is my little food storage haul. I'm in a limbo right now because I'm just like, I do want to go get groceries because I feel like I need food, but 
I'm literally leaving on Thursday. I was even thinking about bananas. Like if I got bananas today, they'd probably just be good by Thursday. <laughs> So I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, so now I want to do a little computer work. I have some emails to respond to because I feel like I have not been on my computer all day. It is Tuesday. It's pretty late in the day. I actually had a really early morning shoot and then went straight to the OBGYN, got blood work done, and then I was like just so fatigued. I don't know why. So I kind of took today as a rest day because I know tomorrow is going to be a little bit crazy with packing and just like creating content and stuff. But right now we are about to head to Blues on the Green here in Austin. It's at Zilker Park and it's basically like a free concert and you just like bring your own like blankets and chairs. I just found out that apparently you can't bring drinks and food, which is kind of weird, but I think that they have vendors, so maybe that's why. But I put on this hat and I have like a bunch of hats. I just don't really wear them because every time I put on a hat, I take it off because I feel weird. But like, I see so many people wearing hats and they all look so good, especially this one girl or I mean two girls technically, because I think they're twins on Instagram. I'm going to put their like picture here. They are so cute. They wear like these really cute like felt hats all the freaking time. And they are my inspo because I love their style. And yeah, so I was kind of inspired. I did like two little cute things back there. And these earrings I literally just unboxed. They're from Amazon. I'll try to put them in my Amazon storefront. I was just wearing a romper, but I texted my friends and I was like, what is everyone wearing? And then they all said that they were going to wear like athletic stuff. Um, so I just changed into a t-shirt because I still wanted to wear the hat. And the hat would definitely not go with an athletic dress. I still don't really know about this outfit, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to like push yourself outside of your comfort zone and I don't know, maybe just like wear things that you normally wouldn't like this hat and these like little bun pigtails i mean they're cute but i just i it's definitely not like me then i have some reebok sneakers on because i do not want to get like any like bug bites on my feet i also wanted to wear long pants for that reason i guess jean shorts it is so i think we're gonna uber over there because it's like actually impossible to find parking on like any given day at zilker i feel like but like especially blues on the green um so i think we're gonna bring some chairs or blankets i haven't decided I think since we have the chairs, might as well bring them and like be a little bit more comfortable and I'll like have to sit on the ground. But I'm gonna meet up with my friends over there and I'll probably vlog on my phone. It's Wednesday and this morning I woke up in probably the worst mood I have been in in so long. I'm not really sure what happened. Everything was going wrong and I was just getting even more pissed off. And I mean, I still don't feel like I'm like, you know, back <laughs> to feeling great. This morning I worked out and I really thought that like working out would make me feel better. Sorry about the laundry in the back. We're doing laundry because it's packing day. Um, but yeah, so it didn't really make me feel that much better, but I got my workout in and I went to the dentist. I haven't done like a teeth cleaning in so long. And like I said, I'm just trying to get all my appointments done um, and found out that I have, well, I don't know what I have. He didn't really say I had cavities. He said I had like a hole in my already filled cavities and they just need to like fix some things. And so he said that since they're all over my mouth, he wants to split them up into three different appointments and I'm like are you fucking kidding me like it's so annoying also it's not that close so that adds to the annoying part but then I went to get my nails done and they turned out amazing so at least we have that look how freaking cute they are I went ahead and did gel x again so these aren't my real nails they're um like a full press on fake nail and then they paint gel over it and they look so good i'm very very happy with them and even my toes i really like the colors so at least that's one plus of today i really am not usually a negative person and so like this whole day because i was feeling so shitty and like thinking about all the bad things that's been happening to me like this morning I was like really like feeling even more guilt because I'm like, why am I being negative? Like I'm not usually like this, like what's wrong with me? I was just like in my head this morning. I really don't know what it was, but it is pretty late and I was out this whole morning. I didn't want to eat before my dentist appointment. So I haven't eaten today and it's like 2 p.m., goodness gracious. 
So, I'm gonna eat overnight oats again. This is like my new obsession, I think. <laughs> um, and it's just like so easy, especially because I have those frozen mangoes. I think I'm gonna finish it off today. Um, and I also just have like a lot of random things to do today before we go to Cancun tomorrow. Oh, also the big thing is that I checked the weather and it's literally storming from the day we get there till the day we leave. And before, like today, it was sunny. And then the day after we leave, it's sunny. So that really pissed me off too. And I'm just really, really hoping, hoping, hoping that we get like some sun. I'll take anything at this point because I'm just like, I don't want to be stuck there and it rain the whole time. Like that would suck. So I really don't like to be a negative Nelly, but I don't know. Today is just not my day, I guess. But I'm really hoping to turn it around. <laughs> so after I eat, I think I'm going to do my hair because I need to film a sponsored post and then probably just like pack and do emails and edit this vlog. And I also have galleries to edit. I just curled my hair because I wanted to film some TikToks and it's looking a little bit flat and I thought it would be a perfect time to try out this like really interesting tool that I have. I saw like a TikTok and I was instantly sold because anything that like gives me a little bit of volume I need. So that's exactly what this does. It's called the volume and basically you like, I guess like clip off like this top part is this section and then like press the bottom parts and then it gives you like a lot of volume so this is the before i just feel like my hair is a little bit dirty and flat so let's see if it actually does what it's supposed to do hopefully and also i'm not naked got the tube top my favorite tube top this one is from amazon and this tool is also from Amazon. So if you guys are interested, I'll link them both down below. Um, we're still doing laundry, so we haven't really packed anything. But we're on the last load. The last load is drying, so we should be able to pack soon. And I also forgot that I needed to pick up my prescription at Walgreens. But I don't think the pharmacy closes soon. I don't know if I'm seeing things, but I feel like this side of my hair looks a lot more like fluffed up and just like has a lot more volume i'm gonna put like the iphone clip like here because i feel like you can see it more in the iphone clip i didn't do this side yet so just like look at this side it kind of looks like i have extensions but i just did something to the roots so i'm like really confused but i like it the only thing is that well actually you can't really see the texture of that machine okay here are both sides done it 100% made a difference. That is insane. It literally took me like 30 seconds to just like add a little bit of volume. I mean, it sucks that I did have to use heat. I wish I like had another way. I mean, there's many ways, but this is like, look at this volume. I feel like a Utah mom blogger. I feel like I reference them a lot, but you know, like it looks like I have like hair extensions with all this volume up here. I have no idea where I put all my tripods. So you're like standing on some box, but I'm currently doing like what I got on Amazon versus how it turned out on TikTok. So I thought I would like show you guys on the vlog. So first up we have this really cute like crochet skirt. And also I did a Monday swimwear haul on my TikTok that I totally forgot to vlog for you guys and I'm so mad at myself. I am obsessed with the quality. Like it is pretty pricey for like one swimsuit, but the quality is like snatching like it snatches you in sucks you in and i love it i feel like that's what i need especially because we're going to an all-inclusive and i'm gonna have me a drink i'm gonna have me some fries on the beach you know so i don't really want to be worrying about all this but anyways okay so this is the crochet let me get up close very cute very cute um i'm gonna link everything down below and i'm gonna do a quick change i'm literally like chasing the sun so Let's do this quick. All right, here is the next thing. I feel like I'm gonna get hated on because I didn't iron this slash seam it because the last Amazon TikTok I did, they were all like, you need to iron your stuff. And I'm like, I'm just filming a TikTok. Like I'm not going anywhere, even though I don't really usually steam stuff, but it does make a difference, I will say. Anyway, so this is a jumpsuit. I'm pretty sure I got it in a size large and it comes in a bunch of other colors. Super cute and also very comfortable, which is, the most important thing. Last thing I'm putting in this haul is this little cute button down. It's pink. 
How cute. Wait, that's super cute. Also, I don't think I ever told you guys about these shorts in this vlog. And if I did, I'm sorry, because <laughs> I'm gonna repeat myself, but I need like a billion different colors in these shorts. They're the free people, I wanna say way home shorts. And they're only $30. And I love how high-waisted they are. Like it makes me feel so secure. I've been working out in them, which honestly I need to remember to like put some deodorant between my legs. Cause like obviously working out in short shorts, you could get some chafing, but like other than that, they are so comfortable. So like breezy. I love them so much. I need to buy, like I said, a couple more pairs. Um, but okay. This is the butt down. This is it close up. Little cute pink moment. Love it. All right. I think I got everything done today. I'm like going over my calendar. It's like planned out to a T because one thing about me, if I don't write it down, it doesn't happen. I forget about it. Like I will never think about it again. It's so bad. Like my memory is horrible and I'm only 25. Love that. Um, okay. So I got some TikToks done. I did a sponsored post. I need to go pick up my prescription. We need to buy our checked bags because we're flying Spirit. Please pay for us. Honestly, like I'm really nervous about it because I haven't flown Spirit in so long. And when me and Ryan were doing long distance in college, he and I used to fly Spirit all the time, but it was from Atlanta to Orlando. So it wasn't like the worst, but now I feel like I hear so many bad things about like cancellations in general. Like all these flights are getting canceled because there's not enough pilots to fill them or something like that. So I'm just trying to stay calm. And like, honestly, this whole trip, I'm just trying to stay calm about because I keep looking at the weather and I need to stop because I can't do anything about it. You know, I kind of have to like accept it even though it really sucks. Like I was looking forward to this for so freaking long. I still have hope that it's not gonna be that much rain because I feel like it's gonna be like that tropical rain. I mean, in Orlando, it would say it would rain all day and then it would rain for like 10 minutes and then be gone and then the sun would come out. So I'm really, really hoping it's that, but we will see. I'm gonna head out the door. I'm gonna pick up my prescription and then go to Chipotle and get dinner. Ryan actually had it for lunch. He called me and he was like, do you want Chipotle for lunch? And I was like, wait, I literally wanted that for dinner. I never craved Chipotle. Like that is not something I usually like think about eating, but it always hits a spot. Like Ryan will crave it and I'll just be like, okay, like whatever Chipotle, I can eat that. But then it actually like tastes so good. Then when I come back, we're gonna pack. We're gonna get it all done. Our flight leaves at 1 p.m. tomorrow, so it's not a super early morning flight, which thank God, because I feel like the past few flights we've been on were really freaking early, and that's just not, that's just not fun, especially like Ubering. It always scares me. I always schedule the Ubers and Lyfts or whatever if we have an early morning flight, but it always scares me that they're gonna cancel and then I won't be able to get another one, so I'm glad it's like at 1 p.m. and plus, I feel like hotel or resorts, like the rooms aren't even ready until like three or four. So I believe we'll be getting there around that time. So it'll be like perfect. Just got off the phone with my sister. She is posting her first Instagram reel. She has like a food account. I will put the at on the screen here. So if you guys are in Atlanta, especially go follow her cause she lives in Atlanta and she is a huge foodie just like me. And um, she just knows all the best deals and everything like that. But she just posted her first reels. <laughs> she was like, does it suck? And I was like, <laughs> You gotta start somewhere. I mean, it didn't suck, but anyways, I, I told her to make her frame rate 60 frames a second instead of 30. I think she was shooting in 30. And so when she slowed a clip down, it was super choppy. So that's a good thing to know if you guys didn't know, now you know. Um, and then also she's using CapCut to edit, which is one of my favorite, actually only iPhone editing movie apps that I use. CapCut is just so insanely good and I'm still mind boggled that it's free. I just don't get that. But I'm not complaining because I'm not trying to pay for anything extra. But anyways, it's a really good app. I'm about to go into Walgreens, get my prescription. I really hate this Walgreens because it's a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna reward myself with Chipotle after. We got the goods. I always get extra corn because in my opinion, that is like the best part of a bowl. Usually Ryan always orders us Chipotle. So today I was like, what do you order for me? Cause I don't even know 
what all goes in this bowl. Do you guys eat Chipotle with a fork or a spoon? Because Ryan eats it with a fork. No, Ryan eats it with a spoon, I'm pretty sure. And I think if, I think I like a fork. I don't, now I'm confused. <laughs> um, I'm gonna enjoy this. And then we're finally gonna have to get to packing. So it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm.